a quarter of a million pounds, 22 identical sealed boxes, and no questions. Well, one. Deal or no deal? Deal or No Deal, the big sensational entertainment drama that throws up lots and lots of shocks and surprises and one tragedy already this week. We had Nick playing and everything seemed to be right. He was the ace poker player really taking on the banker and then it all went horribly, horribly wrong. He became Deal or No Deal's first ever one pence winner. Yesterday things got better. Jenny, who's getting married in August, she took the banker for £26,000, but if she'd stayed on for two more deals, it could have been over £70,000. This game is about keeping your nerve and timing, choosing the right moment to deal. Remember that, guys, and let's now find out who's going to be playing the game. We have our 22 identical boxes, of course, and there are 22 different sums of money. Nick will never, ever want to see that 1p again, but there it is. And could today be the day that one of these players wins the quarter of a million pounds? I really hope so. We are long, long overdue a big payout. Let's find out who's playing. I wonder if you're on your way to big money. Dave! Yeah. He's happy. Come on, Big Dave. It's your moment. <laughs> Welcome. Good to be here. This is going to be a cracker. It certainly is. I hope it is, anyway. Because you're a real enthusiast for this game, aren't you? Yep. And now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Woolen. 24 years old from Leeds, yeah. an accounting assistant, good with numbers. Well, my boss might. <laughs> good with numbers. <laughs> yeah, all right then. Apparently you once walked into a casino with £20 in your pocket? Yeah. And walked out with? 210 on about three spins of the roulette wheel. That's all right. Not bad. And then there's another very interesting story uh, related to luck. Um, you took out a bank loan two years ago and paid £4,000 for a Leeds United 20-year season ticket. Certainly did. And, and they then... were relegated the next day. <laughs> <laughs> All the Leeds fans around the country that day were crying, and I was just sat there and I'm like, £4,000! I just couldn't believe it. So, what we've proved is you can be unlucky because of timing, mm -hmm. and you can be lucky because of timing. Can you please confirm, before the show, you chose this box at random? Definitely did, yeah. It was sealed by our independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes. The only individual who knows where the money is. We do not know. But we are going to start the process of discovering it. And who knows, you could have here in box 21 a quarter of a million pounds. Dave, nice. this is your show. Let's go then. Right, five boxes to the first call from the banker. Now, I've been stood over there and I've not really, apart from once, I've not had any feelings for any boxes, but I'm kind of hoping that these boxes are going to talk to me. <laughs> What's it saying, Robbie? Obi-Wan has spoken. Take this box. <laughs> there we go. We've got to go for it then, number one. Robbie, would you please open the box that's talking to you? Good luck, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Dave. £35,000. It's not bad. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> not bad, but it's OK, it's OK. Number two, Liz. Hello, Liz. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Are you enjoying your Thursday? Of course. Jolly good? You're always so happy and cheery or whatever. Do us I've a favour, Liz, old fruit. Could you uh, deliver a really nice low number there, please? Oh, I think so. Good luck, Dave. Yeah! £50. Yeah. £50. Pounds. Very nice. Nice balance there. 
You've got line. a letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> now where? Well, we've had one. We've had two. Noel, you were standing, didn't we? Number three, Vaughn. <laughs> Are you just going to go through one, two, three, four? Who knows? Box one, box two. Do you really want box three? Certainly do, yeah. Go for okay, it, box three. We sim <laughs> simply want you to open box three and find a very low number in there, please. Three thousand. OK. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. OK. Um, <laughs> well, even I can count as far as four. <laughs> number four. Oh, OK. So, on the basis that you're doing this in a very balanced fashion, this will have 10p in it. Hopefully. Yeah? Yep. Excellent. Arlette, would you please open box four and reveal 10p? Five oh. pounds! That's all right. So we come to the uh, fifth box before... <laughs> before the banker. Fifth box. Number five. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Are you using any sort of system <laughs> here, <laughs> No. No. <laughs> Not at all. It is fantastic. And I cannot believe that we've got this far with this show and nobody's actually done this before. <laughs> Just pick them off in numerical order. We get the phone call after box five. Thank you. One pound! <laughs> oh, that's a good start. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I'm liking this. <laughs> so, do you think that uh, the quarter of a million is in box 22? No. <laughs> oh, right, OK. Because <laughs> my next question was going to be, what on that basis, do you think 100,000 is in box 21? Uh, we'll see. Oh, I hope it. I hope they are. Cos that... those offers, when we get towards the end of the game, are going to be massive. Can you that think one. of anything to spend that on? There's a nice £4,000 loan, I think, that I need to pay off. <laughs> <laughs> you the usual things. That everybody's got a little bit of debt that we need to pay off, but one major thing. We're going... We've booked for Las Vegas in October, and my mum is a massive, you're all going to groan when I say this, massive Barry Manilow fan. And I've promised her that if I win a load of money, we're going to get the super, super expensive seats where you sit on the stage at the side, drink his champagne, and you, I think you can get to meet him afterwards. And she wouldn't love that. I've got a funny feeling he's going to be humming a Barry Manilow song. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm fine, thank you. Do you like Barry Manilow? Oh, you're a Neil Diamond chappy, are you? Oh, it's Bucks Fizz. Oh! <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> wow. Um, <clears throat> well, this is going to be an interesting game, whether you like it or not. As you know, he watches very, very closely everything you do. And he says he thinks a lot of your advice has been very sound. He has noticed that box number six could well be the next box you choose. And so, in honour of your system, he is making an offer that I have never, ever had to communicate to ev anyone ever before. Four thousand three hundred and twenty-one pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, one way or another, you've got a battle on your hands now. Let battle commence. You've still got the four largest sums of money in play. In all seriousness, that's why the offer is over four thousand pounds. It's three hundred and twenty-one pounds more than you paid for your season ticket the day before <laughs> Leeds were relegated. £4,321. I can't believe I'm saying that sum of money. It's normally rounded off. Dave, deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. No deal. <laughs> let's really, really hope, let's hope we do not see the top three. Aye. Be grand, I tell Aye. you. Where are we going? Where do you reckon? 
Number six. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, with you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jenna, please open box number six. 10,000. That's OK. That's good. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> now, two boxes to the next offer. Go on, then, Jill. <laughs> I hope I didn't telegraph that for you. I think you're influencing me now, Noel. Oh, well, you start <laughs> when you're standing next to the next number. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, would you please open box seven? Good luck, Dave. Thousand! OK. <laughs> this is an extraordinary game, not just because of your foolproof system, <laughs> but also you're doing brilliantly. Absolutely brilliantly. You want to pick my next box for me? <laughs> I'm not allowed. Number eight. Vanessa, welcome to the game. Oh, hello. The one thing I do not want you to do is open that till after the break. What? You'll be back. This one is very different. I know you'll be back. Welcome back to Baldrick's game. He has a cunning plan. <laughs> it is working incredibly well for him at the moment. Dave, from up north, has brought with him a foolproof plan, a plan of such cold, cunning intellect that it has left us all numb <laughs> with admiration. <laughs> his first box was number one, his second box was number two, his third box was... And we are now at box number eight. And, all joking aside, this is an incredibly strong game. It still is. You still have the four biggest numbers, you've got fabulous fallback position, and all those blues. And I you turned it. down 4,321. Yep. The first offer <laughs> in respect of your system. And now we want a low number in box number eight, please, Vanessa. Additionally, new members have high... No, 20? That's OK. Yeah, I've okay. still got those four. Yes. Ball. Thank you. In my box, <clears throat> to the last, I think it's the last ten games, only one of those games I've had an amount under £10,000. Do you believe in positions? I mean, do you think that corner over there is a hot spot or a cold spot? From the players that have been there before, I think it's a hot spot. I've had tre did Trevor did well, didn't he? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Jerry, that's good news for you when your day comes. <laughs> or in Lee, hopefully. Yeah, Lee yeah. had a great game. It's interesting because the banker didn't know how to play Lee. And I've got a feeling he's totally stumped with you. <laughs> he has no idea what to make of Dave. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been told that many times. Hello. Hello. Oh, come on, it's got to be unnerving you. It is. Strong board, acknowledging it. Thank you very much. OK. In deference to you, quality of the game and your tactic, he is now offering you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand pounds. Nine grand, Dave, for box 21. Nine grand that is real money. Nine grand that will not be there if you take out the big numbers in the next round. And you did admit you've got a little bit of debt that needs tidying yeah. up. Not too much, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly to my dad. Do you keep a record of all the dad debts? My dad keeps a record of all dad <laughs> debts. <laughs> I don't. I just said to my dad, Dad, how much do I owe you? And he's like, yep. Gets his little bit of paper out. He's got it in his wallet. Gets a little bit of, paper, bit of paper out. Right, you're running total. Should just get a chalkboard in the living room and you can just... <laughs> and I'm like, Dad, 50 quid. Knock 50 quid off. So at this moment, <laughs> your dad is looking at the television and screaming, Take the money, cos some of it's mine! <laughs> Not far off, yeah. 
<laughs> Not far off at all. Dave, nine grand. Deal or no deal? No deal. That. <laughs> right. Let's stay away from those four. This is a fantastic game. This really is the game we wanted this week. Jenny, in the end, went for 26,000. We know why. It was the right sum of money for her, because she's getting married in August. Yes. Are you getting married in August, Dave? There's kind of a problem. You've got to find a woman first. <laughs> <laughs> so if you find a woman between, then I might do. Do you know, I nearly <laughs> fell into the trap of saying something really sexist there about the reaction that you'd get if you walked away with a quarter of a million. <laughs> hey, to be honest, if I walk away with a quarter of a million, I will gladly accept a lot of women coming up to me. <laughs> There's a guy laughing here who knows exactly what I mean. <clears throat> so you don't have a girlfriend at the moment? No, not at the moment. <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> 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 OK, I'm desperately trying to keep this uh, serious now, and I, I, I can't guess for a moment Let's where we're going. Let's have a laugh with it. Yeah. <laughs> In the day, that's a great board. Yeah. And we, we know it is. Yeah. I'm going to take out some blues now, hopefully. So, your next box. Is this the ninth box? Uh, yeah, isn't it, yeah? I, ha I haven't been keeping... A record of where we've got to. Yes, it's the ninth box. <laughs> I'm gonna go for box ten. Ooh. <laughs> what? Box ten. Are you really? Yeah, ten. Yeah. But box nine's over there. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> oh, I hope you haven't made a mistake here by changing your system. Oh, oh. I hope you haven't. Oh, there's well, a... Maybe, maybe this is the system. <laughs> you don't know that. They don't know that. Well, yeah, I know oh, that. But there's a feeling of foreboding here. Yeah. When it's got a penny in it, you'll all be cheering and you'll forget about it. Just get it open. <laughs> 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 right. Dave, you're giving us a lot of fun. <clears throat> I really, really hope this is not a big number, Gavin. Would you open box number 10? Good luck, Dave. 75,000! Oh. You've changed your system and left out box number 9. And you took out the Ooh. third biggest sum of money. Ah, yeah. Third biggest sum of money. There's still the first and the second. Yep. OK, next one. Number 11. Julie, you open it with your fingers crossed? Yeah. <laughs> um, I did. OK, would you please open box number 11? Good luck. 50 yeah! Thank you. You now can't take out the two biggest together. That's you what could... I wanted to avoid. As long as I could keep those two, yep. one of them, I'd like you. Last box before we hear from the banker. Still not taking out a lot of blues, have I? No, nope. you've got a lot of places you can go to without doing any damage. Number 12 will have one in, hopefully. Terry, would you please open box number 12? 500. <laughs> This is very, very strong. He is going to be delighted that the 75,000 has been revealed. He is still, because of the position in the game and the number of blues you've got, yeah. going to be very, mm -hmm. very worried. And so he should be. And so the, the dream woman, what would she be like? <laughs> Cameron hate... Diaz. Not somebody like Cameron Diaz, just Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny because, um, obviously, Christmas has just gone, and um, I wrote my little letter off to Mr Claus. It says, um, can I have Cameron Diaz in some sexy underwear for Christmas? I got the sexy underwear. Didn't get Cameron Diaz. <laughs> So, it was hey. all, all right. <laughs> yeah, carry on. Tell me you're not wearing the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> what a horrible, horrible vision <laughs> flashed through my mind there. Hello. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
OK, thank you. He is putting quite a significance on the loss of the 75,000, so much so that we're now talking about £6,000. I thought he would. Yeah? As soon as, as, soon as I saw that 75,000, I knew um, we were going down in offers. He wants me to play on, doesn't he? Let's give him that. I don't even have to ask anybody for this, cos... No? Yeah. Right, then. £6,000, deal or no deal? No deal. Right. <laughs> You've got a lot of places you can go other than those two. I find myself saying it all the time now. In all seriousness, you could be on to huge, huge money this afternoon, Dave, if those two are not revealed in the next three. First box. I'm looking for some. Anne. Um, I mean, 13. 13. <laughs> Anne. <laughs> Just give it up. <laughs> Anne, would you do us the ultimate favour, please, of opening box 13? One yes. piece. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. Wow. Well done. The next one. It's got to be 14. John, please open box 14. 100,000! Oh. <laughs> Didn't want to see that. 100,000 is really, really bad news. Yeah. You're going to have a tragedy if you take out the quarter of a million with the next box. Third box, this round, phone call from the bank. 15. Sticking with it. Box 15. We do not want to see the quarter of a million pounds in this box, Michael. We really do not want to see it. We don't want to see it now. We don't want to see it after the break. Dave's game, and it's an unusual game, in that he's brought a cheeriness, a happiness to it that nobody else has, except things have just got ever so slightly serious. We'll see what that box has got in here first before we panic. <laughs> Please, Michael, open box 15. Yes. 250 pounds. <laughs> the happiness factor is there, the jolly quotient. Is there? When are you going to tell me why you missed out number nine? It's basically, I was born on the 20th of the 9th. That's all it is. And number 20 was the number that I won the £210 on on that roulette. So 20, 20, 20 is my number. We now know that box nine and box 20 are going to remain to the end. Can't do that though, can I? Well, there's one there. Yeah. If, of course, he doesn't offer something which makes you leave. We'll just have to see you to him now. Hello. Hello. No. No, you've got a problem with that. It's still there, still out there. Could be in this box in front of him. He wants to put you under pressure. OK. And he thinks this offer, bearing in mind the quarter of a million is still there and the 50,000 is still there, is going to get a reaction from you. Watch his face very, very closely. He's offering you £12,000. Dave, put it in the context. Yeah. You now have an offer of £12,000. If, with the next three boxes, you take out the quarter of a million and the 50000 there is no way you will ever see an offer of £12,000. That's the risk you take. That's the game. 
That's what he is banking on. Yeah. £12,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Right. Well, a lot of positivity. A lot of positivity, right? We're with him. Brave call. We're with him. We need a lot of positivity. My mum and dad are going to be sat there watching this, waiting till I get home, and they are going to kill me for this. <laughs> they are going to absolutely kill me. What are you doing? You couldn't win 10 pig. <laughs> That's just me dad. <laughs> Gonna stick by the system, number 16. 16. Marie, will you open box 16, please? 15,000. It's all right. That's OK. That's okay. <laughs> Two to go. Two to go. You could still take out the 50,000 and the quarter of a million. And then you are scuppered. Your second box, please, Dave. 17, Andrew. 17. Sticking with the ascending numbers. Open the box now. 50,000. Safety net has gone. Disastrous. You have an all or nothing game. That, that hurt. <laughs> I won't lie. That hurt. Four blues. Let's hope there's one in 18. We have to hope the quarter of a million is not this box. And would you please open it now, Al? Good luck, Dave. Seven yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, that was close. Okay. Now, how are you feeling? <sighs> that was the biggest relief ever. You've turned down twelve thousand. Yep. What do you think is going to happen now, Dave? I think we're going up. Yeah. I think we're getting a bigger offer, unless he's in mean mode. What do you think it might be? I know what I'd like it to be, but I'm not saying. <laughs> Robbie? I'm not convinced. I think he's going to make him play again. Yeah, don't I... say that. Oh. Like you think he's now going to have the he's last laugh? He's, he's going to play, play with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Making make chances, play. aren't The two cynics over there, the, the cynical brothers. Oh, boy. And this is an important phone call. Th this is a lot more pivotal than the last one. Hello? 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 Mm-hmm. Yep, we've established he's a gambler. No? You have every reason to fear the gambler. Mm hmm Nobody was right. I hope they were all too low. <laughs> 20,000 pounds. <laughs> £20,000 to buy box 21, just in case it has a quarter of a million pounds in it. He's playing mind games. What's my number? 20? 20,000? He's not stupid. I'm, a, I'm a gambler, no. West Wing? No. Audio? No. Man passing the studio on a bike? <laughs> nah. Dave, at £20,000, 
with the opportunity to win a quarter of a million still within your grasp. Deal or no deal? Deal. <laughs> 20 grand to me is just... <laughs> I'll never have that amount. I've never had money. <laughs> the most... Oh, I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> the most I've ever had in my bank was that loan. Do me a favour. Now you have 20,000 in your bank account, courtesy of Deal or No Deal. Yep. Walk past the casino door. Yeah. OK? Oh, well, I could go in and I could put... No, no, Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> no. Well done. 20 grand. Good call. Thank you. But now... Everything swings over the other way. We've been trying like mad not to find the quarter of a million. We now want to find the quarter of a million straight away. We've got to go for 19 next. Lindsay, would you please open box 19? 5,000. <laughs> the one remaining significant sum of money yep. would have gone at that point. We need to find the quarter of a million. Where is it? Um, I would have gone, obviously I can't open that one, so I'd have gone to 22 next. Miguel, we want to see the quarter of a million in box 22. Ten pounds! Oh, dear. You were... <laughs> you were a wafer away from the biggest offer, undoubtedly the biggest offer the banker has ever made. The third box needs to find it to validate your deal. I would have chosen nine. Nine? I would have chosen nine, yeah, definitely. Jerry, we all wondered why he jumped, having gone up to eight. He missed out nine and carried on. Jerry, we really want this to be the quarter of a million. Open box number nine. Oh, Dave. Yeah! Yeah, the perfect game! The perfect game! <laughs> and let's just remind ourselves of that situation. If you hadn't left out box nine I would earlier on, that. there would have been no way you would have got £20,000, young man. That was, for whatever reason, and I haven't got a clue, that was incredibly smart. And at this point, the offer would have been 35 quid. Hey! <laughs> £35. And Dave, faced with an offer of £35, with either 10p or £100 in your box, what would you have done? I would have... no deal. I'd yeah. have got, yeah, 100 quid, go for it. Yeah, but which one was sitting Can here? I do it? You may do it, by all means, Dave. The last box I'll open. The last box that you will open on Deal or No Deal will reveal how good your deal actually was. Please open your own box. You want to get out of accountancy, you want to get into sales, you know. <laughs> you sold a 10p box for £20,000. Well done. Here's the £100. It was sitting there all along. <laughs> and now you've got to promise one other thing. What's that? You will sort out the dad debt. Oh, definitely, that's gone. <laughs> Dave, you've been a great player. It's been a real laugh. Thank you. Well done, Cheers. son. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm still reeling from that. It's just brought such a wonderful character and a wonderful little twist to it. Fantastic game. And well done to him. He proved a point. He dealt at exactly the right time. Dave, congratulations. Cheers. £20,000. And he's happy. He was right in his own financial comfort zone. And that is so important in this game. And also...
He dealt at the perfect time. Join me tomorrow on Friday. More deal or no deal. I think you'll be there, won't you? Bye-bye.